rehearsing the Flying Ling dance. It's when we first meet the Flying Lings in It's a Birdie's Playing Superman. Yeah, go from the bow. Let's just go from the bow. Let's just clean that section up. A um, little closer, maybe? Yeah, that's right. You just, you're in your final position here. Right. Ready? It was our director, John Rando's idea, to have them actually be competitive with Superman as opposed to just an acrobatic troupe. We wanted to have them be fierce martial artists. Five, seven, one, good. All right, good, 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 good. Really close, really close. The timing's getting better and better. Nice. So in this scene is when they, they're first introduced and they're basically showing off their skills for the evil professor. Um, it's a mix of uh, a wushu martial arts and I think there might be some other form of martial arts in here. And we pull from what their skills are and then figure out how we can use it to the music that, that exists. And not everybody has the same skill set, so it's about finding what they can do together and then showing off what they do, what they specialize in. Your gymnastics training is obviously extensive. How far did you go in your training and your competitive training? I was junior Olympics, and then I quit when I was 18, right before college. Really? So you were competitive all the way till then? Yeah. Wow. We unfortunately had an injury in the cast and, and we lost one of our flying lings. So we had to get somebody last minute. He was a Team USA gymnast, very competitive. And um, so the, the gymnastics come very easy to him. And that's what we needed for that specific role was we needed a great gymnast. And he, he filled those shoes very ably. Their skill set is so high and it's such a rare and special skill that it's not something that the Encore's audience gets to see all the time, and I think it's going to um, really surprise them <laughs> from the very downbeat of this number. Great. That was great, guys.